this is a 2005 Donzi 22 Classic and it's on a Myco trailer. We're just gonna pan around slowly here. Boat's in excellent shape. The owner is, owns an auto body shop, so it is very well taken care of. It's always been garage kept, never seen the salt. And for performance guys who know what they're looking at, this is a twin prop surfacing Black Hawk Drive which is pretty rare. They were um, introduced in the mid to late 90s and they were put on a lot of V-bottoms to improve performance and it's picked this boat up to 76 miles an hour. So, and that's on GPS. You can also see the boat has 380S K-planes, which are the big ones. These are the Mercury Racing K-planes trimmed down. The, um, the current owner trimmed them down and uh, just helps to level the boat, keep it uh, running straight and flat when you want it and uh, you don't want them so low that you're going to cause any problems so that was a smart move you have a ski toe if you got someone who's brave and uh, we'll just pan around the other side now the boat also does come with a bravo x conventional stern drive that you can uh Swap for the Blackhawk if you don't want to go that fast. The trailer is a Myco, which are probably some of the best known performance trailers in the industry, and it is in great shape as well. The whole boat and engine only have 48 hours on them. So it's got the fuel fill to port, it's got four pop up cleats, the Acon style pop up cleats four engine vents around the engine compartment so your engine's going to get good and adequate ventilation. The nice thing is it's just got a real classic look to it. Very traditional kind of hot rod feel to it. I'm going to go ahead and climb in. You can do this without pausing because it's a little boat. And you look aft. It's almost got that uh, Dodge Challenger Mustang look with the stripe down the rear. The engine is the 425 horsepower version of the Mercruiser 496. It's the Mag HO. And there's a battery on each side to balance the boat when you're running. And they're in gill hold down trays. And you can see these inspection panels right here give you access to the backing plates for the motor mounts so if you ever want to check them it's easy to do so when you're maintaining the boat. Trim, trim pump for the uh, drive is on the uh, port side and the tab pumps are forward on the bulkhead which is a pretty conventional installation. There's a guest battery switch forward and then you have your hour meter which is a Lavorsi and you've got 48 hours on the motor. Close the engine hatch and just taking a quick look at the cockpit. You've got the uh, two front seats and then in the helm. They have a Sea Star hydraulic steering system, conventional Mercruiser throttle and control. Does have Bennett trim tab controls and uh, no tab indicators. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to add the indicators if you were going to buy the boat. It's the one thing I would want. Monster Series Lavorsi gauges, and then the Sony stereo. Up forward, there is uh, just storage up under the bow, and you can see the same racy kind of look with the uh, traditional muscle car look with the single stripe down the deck. Cockpit carpet is a snap-in carpet, and it's clean and well taken care of. The boat looks like it's been vacuumed better than my home. And uh, that comes out easily. There's storage in the side compartments. You got room for you know, dock lines, sunglasses, things like that in there. There is a small storage locker in the sole or the floor of the boat. You just slide that hatch forward, and I'm looking down at it right now. And there's also a cooler in the base of the rear bench seat. 
here, you would just pull that cushion out of the way, and there's another removable hatch, and there's an, it is an insulated cooler that you could also just use for storage. Four stereo speakers, two in the cockpit and then two forward by the driver and co-pilot's feet, and a single grab handle for the co-pilot, and then one along the base of the bench seat. The only cosmetic flaw in the boat is a very small nick. In the rub rail, and you're looking at it right now. So, give us a call. <laughs>